Hey guys, welcome to Monday's SimStation special selective episode. This is, you know, I change Mondays to doing whatever, uh, <laughs> whatever I feel like doing. And since this Saturday, so that is one second, let me check the calendar. Uh, just so we're all clear, that is Saturday the 23rd or perhaps Friday night the 22nd. Who knows, maybe both nights. I might end up having to work because, well, there might be an extra shift to fill. And uh, we have to keep the lights on, so somebody has to fix, fill that uh, spot. So if I'm not working, however, what I wanted to say is I'm going to be streaming and we're going to do some multiplayer action because not only do we have a lot of stuff to do, there's been a lot of changes, and so now we have even more to do on this map. As you can see, I'll just highlight the changes, and this is also just to kind of announce that... Um, you know, there, there have been changes, and so you're gonna probably going to have to download uh, something new, and then you're also going to have to, uh, whoops. Yeah, so it's just kind, of a, just kind of a notification that there's been some changes. I added these apps because it's just easier than, you know what, uh, let's press escape, and let's cycle over the animals, and where are the animals? You know, and that way you can leave, let's just leave this page always on the, uh, the reset point, and we will uh, press control Z, which will bring up this menu, and then we can press, oh, I thought I bought all these apps. Okay, well, I guess we have to buy all the apps, so let's just buy them now, and we're going to buy them all. Actually, I think one of them we might not have needed, but anyway, click on animals. Look at that. All your animals are right there. Isn't that awesome? Uh, the fabric script, look at this. It has all the fabric fabrics on the map, so if instead of asking, hey, what's the status of the composter? Look at this. <laughs> it's got fuel, it's got compost, and it's got waste. Uh, so, you know, this is just really cool. And it also adds placeables. See, these are the two placeables that I added on the map. It adds their locations. Oh, look at this. We have the caster food uh, meat packing plant, and we have the... Uh, I'm not sure what these mean in German, but uh, I don't know what the abbreviation slow means. But I see a lot of that slow, slow something. I don't know what that means. But anyway, yeah, we have a soy milk production plant so now we get to put in our soybeans water and fuel and we get out pig food liquid manure and milk and then we get to sell the milk so this will be quite fun uh for those of you who will be joining me on saturday or friday uh the let's see let's just click over here this is where i ah, stupid windows key this is where i put the meat sell point so this is where you're going to go to sell meat and it's also where you go to sell the wait wait no I, did i put the meat back there no this is the yes one second. Let me make sure there are two triggers here, just so I'm not lying to you. Yes, there are two triggers there. I can see them. Oh, man, that really kills the frame rate. Uh, yeah, so there's two triggers here. One of them is the so the, the markings that you see, because I have the markings actually turned off. So this is actually, I probably should have separated it, but I wanted it next to the loading dock. So anyway, this is the meat cell point and also the milk cell point. So this is where you will be delivering soy milk, but it's also where you'll be going to deliver the meat. And while we're there, let's actually um, talk about something else I added, which I actually don't think I added. I did try adding the uh, vehicle group switcher, but apparently I did not. Whoops, I don't have admin. I don't think I'll need admin though. So let's uh, load this truck. All right, so here is another, I added another of these, well, we get to that in a second. I added this mod because it's really cool, this AR frame, and uh, look at this, it can pull the beautiful Brantner bale trailer behind it as well. So we're going to have a lot of cool bale stacking action. The next time we stack bales, we're going to have a lot of trailers, and this will just minimize the trips to and from the field, but it's also on a dedicated truck, so you don't have to uh, drive a tractor out there, it'll be a little bit faster. Yeah, so I kind of went all out with these frame packs. Um, let's just talk about this for now. I added this version and this version in here. So this will be great for ferrying or carting grain or, you know, maybe maybe some other stuff as well, like tedding or cultivating. But the, I don't know. The turning radius isn't great, but, hey, you know, it's German, and that's kind of fun. So there is a second bale trailer combo set up ready to go. Continuing on with the AR frame pack, there's so many different useful combinations when you add a trailer and the truck, you can mix and match almost anything. So that's really, really nice. We have the uh, guys. I, I do just want to thank, oh my goodness, I forget everybody who it was. I remember Modelisher and Wayne and Kat and I 
think there was someone else, maybe Peter, but these guys stayed stacking up all these bales nice and neat. So we have a ton of bales stacked up nice and neat. That's just absolutely amazing. And uh, then they cleaned out the manure pit and they just kind of, I almost wish they would have made it over here somewhere because it's kind of right where you're backing out with the hay bales. But no matter, we can always move it. That's the beautiful thing about this uh, version of Farming Simulator 17. Um, you know, in 15, you couldn't really, well, you couldn't even put piles there. Uh, but now, you know what? We can move that anywhere that we want. And let's just continue on. Here's another AR frame pack. We have our milk trailer. It's a little bit easier to drive around with a, than, than a big semi trailer. Easier to back up if you need to back it up. And yeah, so this will be the milk trailer. We're going to have to go out and... Uh, grab the milk from the soy milk place as well. So that's something else that we need to do. And while we're talking about, uh, well, let's see, which one is out here? So let's uh, go out to our soy milk factory. And here we have a gas tanker on top of one of our AR frame trucks, ready to fill up the gas at the, well, fuel rather at this uh, soy milk factory plant. And uh, we got the soybean headers right there. So we're gonna have a, a huge harvest of soybeans ready to go in. And let me just double check. I think I fast forwarded to, oh, do we not have a lobster or is that an admin? Oh, well, um, I, I, the crops are ready to go. So anyway, uh, yeah, so there's the soy milk factory. And while we're here, let's just jump over to the, when we can find a semi. Let's jump on over to the caster food plant. So I did give us pigs. Oh, yeah, that's right. I already have an animal trailer here. So I did test it out. This works for backing up animals into the caster foods. Now, one kind of downside is the Stoppenbach map. It's kind of a shame. The Stoppenbach map added all of these. Let's see, where is it? Under animals. Oh, yeah, that's right. I actually have to go to, well, not this trigger. But... Um, it, you know, they added cattle and uh, special pig production, maybe, or maybe goats. I don't know. They added a few extra animals on this map, but you can't use them with caster foods. Caster foods are used with the standard. It's only used with the very standard um, animals, the, the pig, sheep, and cows from the default game. So with that in mind, if you press Control z to get back here, you can see that I have the, I bought us some pigs. And one other thing I did now, you might be thinking, oh, well, wait, you didn't get, you guys didn't plant enough crops. You didn't store your crops. What are you thinking, SimStation? You're so dumb. Well, I also did something else cool and I added something else cool. Let's uh, jump right here and let's see, where can we, where can we jump that's pretty close? Let's, <laughs> I don't think anywhere's pretty close, but let's, uh, I guess, jump here and we're going to. We're gonna take a run if we can uh, if we can make it up this hill and over. Okay, here we go. Yeah, we're taking a shortcut over to something neat. Yes, that's right. There's the store right there, and we can take this entrance over here and look at this guy. We have bought a global market, and what's so cool about this is if I can hop the fence. Yeah. So what's cool about this is we can buy sugar beets. We can buy. Um, you know what? I actually didn't start my um, console, so it's not working in game, but it will work with dedicated servers. Um, you just have to start up the console before you jump in the dedicated server, and then I have to be the first one in the server, which is the case anyway, because I start up the server. But with this, we can buy sugar beets. We can buy, one second, we can buy sugar beet, we can buy corn, we can buy uh, straw from, you know, from a. Uh, from a fill point um, and put it in a semi trailer. We can we can buy all this stuff, and you know we can also sell it, of course, at the global market. We can sell bales at the global market, but it's just it's a really really cool way to kind of interact with the world. And you know maybe if <laughs> if there's other guys out there and we're in the middle of the stream, we say we need sugar beets. Maybe someone who can't uh, play online could sell sugar beets to the global market. I don't know. It's just a really fun way to interact with the rest of the world, even if that world is not playing in the in our particular game with us. I'm going to use this in a different way with my um, West Coast and, I don't know yet, either Oakfield Farm or Mapper's Paradise map. I, 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 do, I really don't know. I only have time to play one extra map and go back and forth between them. And you guys voted that you wanted me to stay on the West Coast. So, 
I'm, I'm, I'm definitely not going to get to play one of those maps to their full potential. And it's, and it's a shame, but that's life. You just don't have enough time for everything in the world. And uh, yeah, so we're going to be using the global market. That's going to be awesome. That'll make taking care of pigs and stuff so much easier because we don't always have to have all that stuff on hand. You know, the pigs are primarily for meat production. We're not using, we're not keeping pigs around to just grow up a huge big pig farm. I mean, eventually, yeah, but the whole point is so that we can, you know, send them off to the, send them off to the slaughterhouse and make bacon because uh, we're going to, we're going to make some good bacon. We're going to make some good uh, meat packing stuff. And uh, yeah, so of course we have our amazing composter with a lot of compost ready to go. And look at this, even more compost on the output. We've got a lot of compost that we're going to have to little look at this and two things of grass ready to dump in there. So we've got even more compost to make. There's so, you know what? Let's just look at this real quick. That's uh three harvesters, one auger wagon and one truck carting grain. So that's a five person job there. And then probably at least one other person to keep the um, animals running one other person to, uh, what's that? So that's five, six, uh, seven. If you include one person per each animal farm and then <laughs> George Orwell, uh, then you, uh, if, if you have one person delivering animals and packing meat, then that's, uh, eight. And then you have someone else running the soy milk factory with nine, uh, and then the composter 10. And, uh, right now we have room for 12 people on our server. I might try to up that just in case we have more people that want to play, but I don't think we've ever been at capacity, so I'll probably just keep it like that. I think that, uh, yeah, everything seems working pretty fine on the map. I just wanted to show you those few extra changes that we have, and uh, unfortunately, that is all the time that I have today. So I wanted to thank you all for stopping by. If you wanted to join us on Friday or Saturday, again, if I do not have to work, I will be able to stream, and I will let you know by Wednesday at the latest, uh, you'll see a live stream on my channel. Um, you'll see a little event notification on YouTube, if that's the case. And yeah, there's a lot of mods that change, so you might just want to click the link to download all the mods ahead of time, so you are all ready to go on Friday or Saturday, and thanks for tuning in. I hope to see you all on Friday or Saturday, <laughs> whenever it is. I will, whoops, why do I oh, randomly press buttons? Okay. Thanks again, guys. I will see you later. Bye-bye.